uh, 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 Salak here. He said, uh, did ever any trust in him and was confounded? Or did he ever despise any that call upon him? Mm -hmm. So whether you whether you go off or not, man, when you call it, yeah, Salak, when you call upon Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, he hears those prayers, man, especially when it's in sincerity. When you pray to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, when you know you go off, sometimes you don't even want to, you sometimes you you only you don't want to pray to the Lord because you know that you went off so far, man, and you just know that you're not worthy enough. But the most high, the most high is very pitiful. Very pitiful. Meaning he's like, all right, man. I, I, you did me wrong, but I, you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna deal with you, you know, because the faith that you have in me, because you trust in me, and that's what the Lord sees, man. He sees the conscience. He sees the things that men can't see. He sees, okay, even though he did this, he's still sincere, you know. And I put that in front of him. I made him fall. In, I made him fall in that snare, but I just want him to come back to me more humbly, you know. And that's the thing. The Most High puts you through that trial to make you better. The most high puts you through certain things to, to make you stronger. Mm -hmm. So next time you know how to art, you know how to encounter it. Alright, if I'm going straight in this path and it tells me to go di uh, di uh, diagonal, then I gotta go diagonal instead of straight. Because if I go straight, I'm gonna go through this path and it's gonna lead me to destruction, man. It, it, that's just how it works. You know? And everything about this truth is a learning experiment. You're supposed to you're supposed to learn from every, each and everything every day, man. Cause every there's a new trial every day that the Lord's gonna put you through. If you're in his truth, man, that's just how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, let me read verse 11 again. It says, for the Lord is full of compassion mm -hmm. and mercy, long suffering, very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in time and affliction. Now, Yahweh Shah, when he was on the earth, he, you know, he, he was given the power by the heavenly father, Yahweh, to forgive sins. And I got the story right here. And it says, uh, I started, I started at two. It says, and behold. That brought no. I started. Uh, I'll, I'll just get to the point. Uh, start at five. It says, "For what?" It says, "This Yahweh Shah speaking." It says, "For whether it's easier to say, thy sins be forgiven, or to say, arise and walk, but that it says, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins." <laughs> then saith he to the sick of the palsy, arise, take up thy bed. And go into thine house, you know. So you, you know, you you gotta pray into the Lord. You gotta pray to yeah, yeah. You gotta pray to Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You know that in order for your sins to be forgiven, you know. Mm -hmm. But that, that, but that tells me right there. If you think that the Lord can't forgive you, you know that tells me you you don't you don't know of it. You don't truly know Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Yeah, you, you ain't know? been reading, man. Yeah, you ain't been reading because the scriptures tell you it, it tells you ample amount of times and an ample amount of scriptures. How, how merciful the Lord is, man. Mm -hmm. But if I can, you mind if yeah, I uh, get back to mm -hmm. the prayer? Go ahead. Yeah, come. It says, uh, I start back. Um, it says, after unsearchable, it says, For thou art the most high, Yahweh Bashimah Shai, of great compassion, come. long suffering, very merciful, and repentance of evils of men. Thou, O Yahweh Bashimah Shai, according to thy great goodness, has promised repentance and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee. It says, it says, and of thine infinite <clears throat> mercies has appointed repentance unto sinners that they may be saved. Thou therefore, O Yahweh Bashim Shai, that art the Lord of the, that art the most high of the just, has appointed repentance to the just. Salah so, has not appointed repentance to the just as to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, which have not sinned against thee, but thou hast appointed repentance unto me that am a sinner. For I have sinned above the numbers of the, of the sands of the sea. My transgressions, O, o Yahweh, are multiplied. My transgressions are multiplied. And I am not worthy to behold and see the height of heaven for the multitude of my iniquities. I am bowed down with iron bands that I cannot lift up mine head, neither have any release. For I have provoked thy wrath and done evil before thee. I did not thy will, neither kept, thy, kept I thy commandment. I have set up abominations and have multiplied offenses. Now, therefore, I bow the knee of mine heart, beseeching thee of grace. I have sinned, O Yahweh Shai. I have sinned. And I acknowledge mine iniquity. 
Wherefore, I humbly beseech thee, forgive me, Abi Yahweh, O Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, forgive me, and destroy me not with mine iniquities. Be not angry with me forever, by reserving evil for me, neither condemn me in the lower parts of the earth. For thou art Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, even the God of the of them that repent, and in me thou wilt shew all thy goodness. For I for thou wilt save me that am unworthy. Come on. And you see that? All of that goes back to what? It goes back to faith, man. Because like I said, uh, uh, like the spirit, you know, was, was pretty on, pretty much on earlier, is that we're in a spiritual war, man. Mm -hmm. We're in a spiritual battle. That's right. It's the flesh versus the spirit, you know? Your flesh naturally leads you to go off on top of demons, you know, rotting on your conscience, man. But what? We have to uh, continuously combat that, man. Yeah. And although we go off, just like Manasseh did, we have to pray unto the Lord, man. Come. And repent for our iniquities, man. All right? And the main thing so, is that you don't keep doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. You know? Because once you defeat that demon one time, you, you, you should be able, you know, you should be able to do it more easily the next time, man. Next time those, uh, uh, you know, a uh, uh, thought pops in your mind that you know, uh, uh, isn't right according to the Lord, you know, or you do something that that isn't according to the Lord, man. You will watch your steps and be more circumspect, you know. Kind. You got it out. Now, because I was gonna say, you can tell what type of uh, mind Manessa was in during exactly. this time. He 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 just he he was in that spirit of like, yo, I'm not worthy for Yahweh Shema yep. That's why he's like, oh Lord, he said, uh, my transgressions, oh Yahweh, are multiplied. My transgressions are multiplied. It says, and I am not worthy to behold and see the height of heaven for the multitude of mine iniquities. That's right. And, and, and you're going to be in that spirit sometimes, man. You're going to be in that spirit sometimes when you're in this truth, man. Because sometimes you're just going to go off so far to where you believe that you just think that, yo, man, I, I just can't even come back for what I did. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand the mercies and the, 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 the compassion and the, and the very pitifulness that, the, that Yahweh has towards his people, man. He understands us, man. He made us. He is. He's the power, man. And you got to understand the great the great multitude of power that Yahweh Shimei Shai has, man. Come you just got to, you got to, you got to, it's really about repentance, man. Yeah. And having this sorrow. That's why he, he, he went off, so he had that sorrowful countenance. Like, it's, it's that mindset that the Yahweh Shimei Shai appreciates, man. Because he knows, he, he puts that mindset on you. So you know that, yeah, man, I, 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 I don't want to do this ever again, man. You know? Yep. Come on, Priso. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Mm -hmm. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the heavenly Father, Yehovah Shem Shah? Be not deceived. It says, Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. It says, Nor thieves, nor covetousness, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shemuel Shah. But the next verse is going to explain. You know, uh, it says, and such it says, and such were some of you. You know, and it is gave that that list of abominations. But Paul says, uh, Paul says, and such were some of you. But it says what? It says, but ye are washed. You know. So now that you're changed from your ways through the, the and, and how you wash through the word. That's right. Know, which That's is right. the true baptism. You know, you change your ways. You know, you, you had that sorrowful mindset like the brother was uh, going into, and you wanted to change your way. You wanted to, you, uh, you wanted to repent. You wanted to turn back to the Lord. And it said, and such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified. It says, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord, Hamashiach, Yahweh and by the spirit of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know? So they, so they, 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 so the question of that, you know, it, it, it is forgiveness of sins for those things, you know. Mm -hmm. But you, you, you just gotta learn of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. You gotta believe in that mercy, that 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 that, that unsearchable mercy that he that he he uh, he showed us in his word. Come. You know, and he granted us. Yeah. You know, because that's the thing. You gotta understand that the Lord granted us repentance, that's meaning right. He gave to us by grace. Yeah. You know. Yep. And that's what we're supposed to be harping unto. We supposed to. You're supposed to choke hold it, man, because we need that in our lives. Because we, you know, I'm gonna just bring out this precept real quick, if I may. There's a uh, there's Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse uh, verse twenty. It says, "For there is not a just man upon earth 
that doeth good and sinneth not. So regardless of the situation, if you're doing the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, he's going to cause you to go off sometimes, man. That the, the, the main reason <clears throat> is because he put that repentance there, you know? Mm -hmm. The Most High wants us, he wants us to be builded up. Because you gotta, you gotta fall before you can, before you can build up, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta fall before you can become stronger, man. You gotta. You, <laughs> what does a muscle do before, before it comes stronger? It breaks. Yeah. It breaks and it breaks and it breaks and then it gets stronger. Then it builds from that breakage, man. Yeah, and that's how your house slap. You got. No, it. I'm saying it swells up the muscle. Yeah. Come. Yeah, and that's yeah. how your house slap. Even in husbandry, you know, the, the the Lord's work is referred to as husbandry. What do you have to do to order to plant seeds? You gotta break the ground. Yep. You know, then plant the seed and let it build back, uh, and let it build up. Yeah. You know? Even with the plant to to uh, uh <laughs> to make it to make it grow more, you have to break uh you have to break off some of the branches so it can grow off uh two branches, you know? Right. It's, it's uh it's about you know, it's about it's about building. And that's all it's about because when you fall, when you or when you when you break, you know, so, so to speak, it's it's all for you to build back up, you know? And that's the power that we deal with, man. That's the mercies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know? Kind of. Yeah, the Lord has to break you down to build you up. That's right. You know? I got something if you don't have them. Bob Kishai. Kind of. Yeah, this is James chapter 4, and I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? It says, But he uh, but he giveth grace, Salakia, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, Yahweh res uh, resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Resist the devil, and he will flee. That's right. <laughs> and that's right, man. Because those, those uh, demons that are on your mind, uh, uh, that, that got you thinking, oh, man, I, I went off way too far that I, I can't even repent for these sins. That's, that's Satan, man. Yep. That's Satan, man. But a spiritual man will understand that and still pray to the Heavenly Father and still ask for repentance, man. Yeah, yeah that's, why we, so like, that's why we put up prayers, man. Exactly. We say, Nadad my yun now with shatun. Nadad meaning flee. My, uh, my yun means uh, from. Nawa means us. And then shatun. Flee from us, Satan, you know? Come. You know, or we say, I got arka shatun, meaning I rebuke thee, Satan, man. That's right. Because th th that, there's power in those prayers, man. Those prayers really get Satan from you, man. Because that, and that's why we brought up the scriptures, blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him, man. Because it's all right here. That's where the main battle is. The main battle is in your mind. Yeah. That's where Satan tries to get you. That's why it's, uh, 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11, it says we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Yeah. Those devices is those mindsets that Satan tried to put on you to make you think that you're not a, uh, you're not a part, of, uh, you know, part of this ministry. Yeah, because you look at that word devices, it's going to give you the Greek word uh, method, uh, methodia, you know, which, mm -hmm. is, which means the different methods that Satan uh, may come in. Yeah. You know, now the, even the world will tell you what the, the mind is, is, the, is, uh, is Satan playground. Come you on. know, so you got you got to be well equipped in the scriptures to combat that. You know, <laughs> the water, well equipped in the scriptures. That's why we harp upon. That's why we uh we we grab gravitate towards scriptures like this. Yeah, so right. like the prayer for when we go off, man. These the, these things were set here for us to go to for when situations like this happen. You know, when we go off or when we do uh uh do contrary to Yahweh Hashem Al or when we transgress Yahweh Hashem Al We got scriptures for that, man. Kind. This is the comforter. That's right. You know? For me? Yeah. Uh, continuing on. Um, James chapter 4 and 7. It says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh. Resist the devil, and he will flee from mm -hmm. you. And um, the next the next few verses are pretty much uh, uh, the steps that you need to take in, uh, in order to get back into the Lord. You know? Yeah. Verse 8. It says, Draw near to Yahweh, by Shem Shai, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. And that's right, man. Another thing you can do, you know, uh, 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 aside from praying or, or to add upon praying is fasting, man. Yeah, yeah, Afflicting yeah. Afflicting your soul. Yeah. Because that's... All of these things are sacrifices unto the Heavenly Father, man. Yep, yep. You know? And that's why it says, be afflicted in verse 9, and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, 
and he shall lift you up. So those are the steps. These are the uh, 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 precautions, you know, that you need to take. You know, when when you feel that way, man. When you feel that you you've uh, uh, gone off, man. Kind. You know, you know, just just pray, keep praying and fasting unto the Lord, man. Yeah, that's right. You know. Um, if y'all got no, I have one more. Have nah, one nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this off if that's okay. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let him read. Let yeah, yeah, come, so lucky. Come. It's Psalms chapter one nineteen. If I made it's Psalm chapter one nineteen, verse one thirty one. It mm. says, "I opened my mouth." And panted, which the word panted just means to gasp, Come. you know, to be in awe. It says, for, for I long for thy commandments. Look thou upon me and be merciful unto me as thou, use, uh, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. It says, order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. And that's the point, man. You can't let your iniquities weigh you down. You can't let your iniquities have a uh, 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 dominion and power over you, man. Come. The scriptures say just man falls seven, seven times, times, man. That's right. Which means a complete number of times, man. You commit iniquity a complete number of times. And it says, uh, but but gets back up. But then it, say, then it also says what? But the wicked fall into the mischief, mischief. Yep. you know? So if you wicked, you're going to let those, uh, uh, those thoughts or those demons get to you, man. Um, Continuing on, it says, "Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes." It says, "Rivers of water run down mine eyes, because uh, because they kept not thy law." <laughs> That's right, man. It says, "Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments." You know, so we know the Lord is merciful, and He's a just power, man. You know. And yeah. we know that if we repent unto him, you know, although for the multitude of our iniquities, the Lord will still forgive us, man, if we're truly sincere in heart, you know? And that's the that's the point. Yeah, because uh, even even in the prayer, it says, Thou art the Lord of the just, you know? Yep. And that's how we know Yahweh Hashem al Shai. He's very, he's very, very perfect. You know? Kind, yeah. And you may be on the same uh, uh, brink of, uh, of literally crying, you know, yeah, unto yeah. the Lord, man. You know, just like King David was, man, for the multitude of your sins, you know. But the Lord sees that, man. And he, see, he sees that sincerity in your heart, you know. You got it out. Yeah, but uh, just finishing up on the, on the prayer, it says, And in me thou wilt shew all thy goodness, for, for thou wilt save me that am unworthy according mm -hmm. to thy great mercy. That's right. It says, Therefore I will praise thee forever all the days of my life. For all the power of heaven do Praise thee, and thine is the glory forever and ever to all, you know. Come, come, to all, to all, you know. But if, if brothers ain't have nothing, you know, the, and the, the, the important, important fact of, of what we're trying to, uh, what we're trying to portray is that Yahweh Shemal Shah is a merciful power. That's right. He's right. full of compassion. Right. He's full of suffering for, the, for our nation. So when you sin... There are instructions to uh, to come back to the Lord. You know there is a there is a path that you take to to reconcile with Yahweh Hashem Shai. and the Lord's always going to be there for you when you trust in His name. You know, That's right. but uh, with, with that we're going to say all praises, glory, and honor be to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Bah Baha Kodash That's right. Wa double honors be upon the elders and apostles of GMS, and peace and blessings be upon the elect Shayasha Allah and the brothers. Risking their lives in sincerity and truth, pushing this word. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.